Singapore makes history at the grounds of ancient Olympia in Greece. It's the first time the country's flag is flown here in a ceremony to light the flame for the inaugural Youth Olympic Games, which will be hosted by Singapore next month. The Games aim to nurture a young generation increasingly spending less time on sports and more time on the internet and watching television. By combining sport, education and culture in a global forum, the Youth Olympic Games will give the world's best young athletes a chance to compete, to learn and to share experiences with other young people. Following tradition, the flame was lit in the Temple of Hera by reflecting sunlight with a mirror. This was then used to light the Youth Olympic Games torch. The flame represents the Olympic values of excellence, friendship and respect. The Youth Olympic Flame will travel to one city each in five continents, starting with the German city of Berlin. Next stop is Dhaka in Senegal, representing the African continent, followed by Mexico City. The Flame then travels across the globe to Auckland in New Zealand. And its last stop on its international journey is the South Korean capital Seoul, before arriving in Singapore on 5th August. As we embark on this momentous, and meaningful journey around the world. I would like to invite all of you, the citizens of the world, to join us in this historic event of the Olympic movement. This is the last time the Olympic flame will travel around the world. After protests marred the Beijing Olympics torch relay two years ago, the International Olympic Committee decided that future relays would only be held in host cities, but it made an exception for the Youth Olympics. Singapore athletes Amanda Lim and Silas Abdul Razak were among the first torchbearers in Greece. More than 2,000 others will have the honour of carrying the first Youth Olympic flame in a six-day relay around Singapore. The flame will be used to light the Games cauldron at the opening ceremony at Marina Bay on 14 August and it will burn until the closing ceremony on 26 August. Well, swimmer Amanda and hockey player Silas talked to us on the phone about being Singapore's proud torchbearers. It was an emotional feeling. Uh, it's a great feeling that uh, being here at the Olympia lighting, uh, running with the torch, just I don't know what to feel. Uh, I mean, just happy and excited and yes. So many feelings, I think. Uh, more Singaporeans or more people from all over the world, they will start to, uh, you know, focus on like they will know that this game is here because this is the first Youth Olympic game, so no one actually know what is it and how important is it and how fun to watch it is, is it. The celebration was also held right here in the YOG host city at Merchant Loop near Clark Quay. 2010 students got together to form the shape of a massive torch. The event was organised by Samsung, a worldwide partner of the Olympics. Youth entertainers, including reigning Singapore idol Cesare Cesali, also performed.